already broke it. Two seconds into it and broke it. <laughs> right. Let's see. Let's see how this looks right now. Still looks pretty washed out. Is this on right? Oh yeah. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be pretty blue. Gotta wait for someone to join. Otherwise it's just me hanging out with myself. I'm not very good company. Come play Fortnite. Okay, you gotta wait. Um, who said first? I can't scroll up. I can't scroll down to see the name. My clip is blocking the name of the person who said first. What's up, Jay Carey? Oh, Acker Breeder. No, was it you? I see EDR. So yeah, it must have been you. The one and only. The legend. Things to come. All right, so the frag tank just went out. So there's the frag tank. I guess I could turn it back on. I have the, um, what is this thing called? Wait, how do I turn this thing back on? Is that the white channel? I think so. Damn it, why am I spaced on this name? Oh, the Viper Spectra. <laughs> oh, okay, real mature when I'm on the stream. Real mature, guys. I don't know how to work this thing in terms of turning it on. There you go. Frags. It's gonna turn off in two seconds. So enjoy it. Yeah, so got the 40 gallon breeder up, a couple frags in there. I'm not a huge fan of using these frag racks, which is just a black egg crate because uh, you can see that one has fallen over. So that keeps happening and I need a frag rack that's gonna actually hold things in place. So that stag fell on some of these torts that you can't see and uh, kind of stung them a little bit. So that's not cool. That is directly put into the stump here show you the sump area, the inner parts, the dirty parts. Okay, is it back? What the fuck is that? What the hell is happening with this YouTube live right now? What the hell is happening with this YouTube live right now? What the hell is happening with this YouTube live right now? Okay, now it's playing my own video in the background, really? All right, someone let me know if it's back. I don't freaking know what just happened. I turned on the sump light and it crashed. Now I don't even see any video. Here, let's see. This way? There we go. Wow, that was stupid. Anyways, I was talking about the frag tank. Uh, pipe goes into the drain and finally started using the manifold after like two years. So that's the return. I was going to use a separate return pump, but then it hit me that I have a manifold and I was only using one out of the three. Um, I could probably put the Fido on that one, but eh, no reason. Uh, Clarity doing good. Scammer doing good. You'll notice that the maybe you won't because you don't follow me that much, but uh, the whole calcium reactor is gone, so this whole area of the sump is now wide open. Uh, there was also a prisoner clownfish in there. He is now free, so he's in the frag tank as well, living his best life. And then I got the new uh, Geo calcium reactor, which is awesome. The only problem with the calcium reactor is the uh, CJ pump came with a leak and it's really loud right now. So they're sending me a replacement. 
Uh, I keep uh, showing pictures of this setup and people keep asking me what's in these two containers. This one is a CO2 scrubber and this one is Kalkwasser. Dose in I think is 750 milliliters per day of calc. And with the Geo on the, uh, so I'm doing it different. On the Tunzi, I was doing a pull method with the uh, Kamor. Now I'm doing a push and it seems to be working better. For whatever reason, I'm getting a little bit better of a output from it. So I have it set on uh, 50 mil milliliters right now, but I'm actually getting around 60. So that's pretty good. I actually need to test alkalinity because I just put this on a couple days ago and I've only filled it up about halfway. Uh, yeah, as I, get, as I get more consumption, I'll just fill it up more. That's just the way I feel like it's best to do it since I'm, I already have so much consumption. So that is the inner parts. As for well, sorry, the inner parts of the sump. As for the NEMS, they have all of a sudden bubbled back up. Anyone who knows how they bubble, let me know, because I don't. Wait, go oh, Acro Breeder with the $5 chat. Thanks, man. I mean, the tank looks okay. It's doing all right. You know, there's a couple of things growing in there. A couple of fish. It's okay. Yeah, not sure why the anemones have decided to bubble back up. But you gotta admit, I mean, they're looking pretty, pretty scrumptious. I mean, I'd squeeze them, but... What else do we have? Clownfish, always laying their eggs right there. Big and fat. Dee Dee, still bullying the... Uh, you call this guy magnificent fox face <laughs> keep forgetting what i'm trying to talk about on here there's something about having a camera where it just makes you forget how to talk and just lose your train of thought anyways hopefully i can do some more fragging out of here soon the ones that i do have fragged in there right now are more just like tester pieces um and then of the this green one that's fluorescent right there that's this guy which i think is the green goblin uh, correct me if i'm wrong if you know better than me but it was actually starting to encroach on the bonsai so i had to cut it back a little side shot i got these new microfiber sponges way better link in the description of my other video <laughs> Go click on it and then buy three thousand dollars worth of amazon products i'm excited for this monty right here because it started uh, on the other side to encrust up over here so it will encrust this whole rock which is separate i need to rip this thing out this is ugly and then hopefully it takes over this whole section i don't know how long that's going to take because i mean this tank has a limited life at this point so Currently in the process of lobbying for a new fish tank, but the chief accounting officer is um, so far not approving. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. She's listening right now, so we can't we can't talk about it too much. But if it were to happen, it would be same same length, which is six feet, so seventy two by forty eight inches by twenty eight inches high which I think is around like 420 something gallons. I think it'd be pretty awesome to have the extra, uh, the extra width. So it wouldn't quite be a cube, but it would be cube-ish. This one is 72 by 30 by 25 for those who don't know. So I'd get another 200 gallons. Right now with the uh, tank, the uh, frag tank and then the sump, Total water volume, true water volume is 270 gallons right now. And then in terms of if I did get a new system, this, if I could, if I could sell this, I would 
the reality is someone probably won't buy this because people want to buy shit for dirt cheap um, and I won't let it go <laughs> for for a dirt cheap price. I'd rather just reuse it. Um, I'd have to trash the stand, which is a little bit sad. Um, but I doubt someone wants to pay and move this thing. It's probably weighs more than a tank. Um, but I could just use this one as a, as the sump in the new place. So we'll see how that progresses. Just preliminary preliminary talks right now. Uh, but other than that, corals are doing good. This guy flipped over, gotta flip him back. The uh, coral STD is doing good right there. Um, what else did I change? Since my last video, well, I actually cleaned my power heads, so that's, that was a pretty big deal. Didn't clean those for uh, four or five months. Um, what else? How much? Well, if I were to sell the system, I would do the tank, the stand, and then the light bar, right? So you can mount your shit. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like 3,000 would be the, the range. No equipment. Wouldn't come with a sum. Nope. You just get in, tank, stand, light bar. What do you think? I don't think anyone's gonna pay that price. So, but that's my price. I mean, the stand, the stand alone is where it all is, right? Where are you gonna get a custom stand like that? And how much do you think you're gonna pay for a stand like that? I mean, the, the light bar itself is like 700 bucks. And like, say what you want, but this does not depreciate in value just because it's been up. It's in perfect condition. So it just sits there. It doesn't do anything. So, I mean, yeah, you're not going to sell for full market price, but even if you cut everything in half on the tank, $3,000 would be like less. Tank itself is like two grand. A stand, I built it, so it's hard to put an actual price on it. But in materials, I probably spent 1200 bucks. So even if I let it go for 1200 bucks, cut the tank in half, did a thousand, and then if you did like 500 for a light bar. So like maybe you're in that $2,500 range. I don't know, I'm bad at math. You tell me, I don't think anyone would pay it. And I'm not offended if people think people wouldn't pay it, so whatever. The stag is really big, but really boring. It's just blue and doesn't have any polyps. I don't know, I'm not very into this. Um, I do like this piece. I don't know if anyone knows what this one is. Uh, of course, it's like all washed out right now. But it has the green in the center, obviously, and then on the tips, it has a nice blue color to it. This lighting is not very flattering. I thought with the uh, gel filter, it would be a little bit better. Fish look good, though. Look at that guy. He's glowing. Living his best life. Eating all the aptasia. Uh, no one wants this colony of Priscilla I put it up for, uh, it's up for 60 bucks right now. I thought it was a decent price. If I was new in the hobby, I probably would buy it. But now that I've been in the hobby a little bit and I know what the squirrel is, I don't, I'm not that into it. And trying to sell frags of it for just a few bucks is not super worth it either. People just tend not to want to buy it. You put it up for 15 bucks and someone will offer you five bucks. I'm like, no, I'm just going to turn it into calcium reactor media for five bucks. It's not worth it. But I guarantee you, if I put it up for free, someone would come real quick. But apparently it doesn't have any value beyond free. So I might just trade this guy in to the fish store. He can, he can deal with selling it. He gets way more eyes on his uh, tanks every day than I do, so. Um, this stag, I've just been letting free flow in here, <laughs> so uh, it is a bit more interesting than the blue one because it actually has polyps, so just green on green, but I, I like it. It's nice. Duncans are doing good. Uh, I got this Monty cap in the back. I really like how this one is just a muted green. We have like so many things that are like fluorescent green where it's just nice to have that kind of muted deeper green. Um, 
what else did I change? Oh yeah, I did take out this whole entire rock of GSP. So that's why you see it all torn out. So that's how big the uh, the rock was. Maybe around nine, nine or 10 inches. So I'm just gonna let that grow in. That's gonna be my little carpet and then I'll 3D print a little lawnmower, put it in there. Um, hmm, what else? Any questions? I got like nine people in here watching, which probably means that there's like four people that I know are watching. So really only like two people are watching. Oh, hey drama, I missed saying what's up. Then I missed saying what's up to Nat King Reef as well. Did I miss anyone else? Nah, cause no one's in here. That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about the tank. It's just doing good. Everything's doing fine. Um, let's test out, let me test out some alkalinity. So alkalinity is not quite where I want it. I try to aim for like nine, nine DKH, but right now I'm at, let's say I'm at 8.4 as of yesterday. Thanks, Sean. So let's find out, let's test it. Let's test the alkalinity. You guys aren't going to be able to really see anything because I turned out all the lights in the house here just so y'all could see. I have my assistant up here. So if you, you know, if you buy the, uh, the tank and the light bar, just know that it doubles as a parrot perch. She loves going up there. She either goes up there or she'll actually go on the light. She thinks she owns it. But she doesn't. Luckily, that thing catches like all the crap that she does when she's up on that bar. All right, let's find out what the alkaline is at. I don't have anything to set you guys on. Does your assistant fertilize? Oh, there you go. See, I just, I just told you about it. Luckily, no. I have never witnessed firsthand her fertilizing the tank. However, the light is well fertilized. Very well fertilized. All right, I'm gonna try not to lose signal right now because I'm down by the sump. So we'll see. Probably likes the heat from the light. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Birds are weird. I don't understand why for birds it's more comfortable for them to sleep with in, on one foot than to just sleep on two feet. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Imagine trying to sleep standing up with, on one foot. Why would you do that to yourself? Like, nah, I'm gonna put both feet on the ground. But for whatever reason, they like it. All right, this is almost impossible to to use this syringe with this in my hand. Here you go. That's the shot. That's what you guys came here for. Just clear out that syringe a couple times. You guys can stay over there. All right, any guesses on what my alkaline is gonna be? Like I said, it was 8.4 yesterday. So take your guess. Don't have two P's guess, cause he won't know. Cause he can't guess for shit. He'll say it's seven. I don't like the fact that I can't see the chat and what's going on with the phone over there. Not that anyone was participating in the chat, but I didn't like that.
Well, I'll sleep face down, no joke. Uh, I kind of sleep like that. Depends. All right, Sean thinks 8.3. We'll find out. We'll fire up the Hannah. Acro says 8.6. Yeah, if it goes up, I need to turn the calcium reactor down. I was thinking about buying one of those electronic uh, pipettes where you can get like the exact, you know, milliliters out of it, but it looks like 40 or 50 bucks for a, at least for a 10 milliliter one. Didn't seem worth it. This is plain old method that's been working for me so far. All right, here we go. We're about to test it. Let's see, what other guesses? 8.2, 8.3, It is 8.5. So I'm gonna leave it. It only went up one DKH, so it didn't go up too drastically. So I'm gonna leave it because, uh, like I was saying, I want my alkalinity to run around nine. So I'm okay with it going up slowly. That's totally fucking with me. It's not gonna hurt anything. Let me log it. I don't know if I showed you guys this last time, but I put I printed out uh, some new design uh, calendars here for myself. I like to just write stuff down. I could put it in an app. But I just prefer to write it down, and I, I just get a better feel for how often I'm testing. So. Is what it is in a fold myself, so I put my logo on there. Got to put your logo on there, right? Uh, what did I say? 8.5. Perfect. All right, so no one, no one wins the uh, the prize. You'll never know what the prize was because you didn't win. Next time, guess better. Um, all right, let's see. Anyways, any any questions on the on the reef, on the tank, on the bird? Look at her, kiwi. Can you say hi? So what's funny is this this bird can talk and say she could say hi kiwi and she could say I'm cute. Um, but the one that is uh, ten times the cost and supposed to be more intelligent. I uh, cannot say anything. She only knows to scream. What I tell you guys about being full of myself. Look, right there. Boom. It's me again. Kiwi's giving that same look that Owl is. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about the tank. I don't know. It's just doing its thing. It's in, a like, I guess a boring stage right now where um, I can't... I mean, I can frag some stuff, but it's not... I don't need to go in there and be all crazy. And I'd like the tank to fill in as much as it, it can. I don't want to just keep looking at like an empty tank. So there's just not a lot to change. How did you come up with your name change? Oh, Angry Owl was always like a thing that I used just like generic name for like uh, video games or like signing up for shit, stuff like that. You need a giant owl cutout to mount on that light bar. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh shit, just banged into that. So what are you talking about? Where it would like drape down or something? So it would just drape, drape down, or maybe it would go up top. You can kind of slide it in that 80-20 uh, slot. You could just be right up there. <laughs> Now in the new place, uh, since it will be in the basement, it won't be, you know, vaulted ceilings. It will be a uh, nine foot ceiling. So getting the taller ceilings in the basement. Hey, hey, don't chew that and don't eat the salt water. Okay, no, come here, get down. Um, <laughs> so uh, probably about that high will be the ceilings, maybe. 
So I'll just uh, mount it to the ceiling and then I'll do a floating canopy style. You are thinking too small. Ceiling height would be more functional. Okay, so you're thinking I drop it down from the ceiling and we're talking maybe like, I don't know, a 10 by seven piece or something. That could work. That could work. I still gotta make my t-shirts. Um, I need someone to make me a t-shirt that says, uh, free angry owl, let him fly with my little, uh, my little logo guy, my mascot behind bars. People keep putting me in YouTube jail. I guess I come off a little too aggressive sometimes. But I feel like that's not my problem. I feel like that's other people's problem. <laughs> I actually just got freed from my prison sentence um, from Fisher Hex. I'm pretty excited about it. I was in prison for the past couple of months. Uh, but my bail was posted by Kevin, so shout out to Kevin. And yeah, got out on good behavior, I guess. <laughs> we'll see how that goes for me. Kiwi, get out of here. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, he did. He was, uh, he was live earlier. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was able to finally uh, chat in there. Yeah. <laughs> Chewing those mountains, Kiwi. You can't have anything like here. Like she'll just start trying to chew it. Same rules of Fight Club. Hey, stop chewing that. And then, okay, so you have the bird here and then this dog will just go crazy staring at her intently. Never tries to actually get her, but we'll just, you know, if she starts to fly right now, if she flies away, she'll just kind of jump in the air a little bit, but yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, you gotta bribe the warden every now and then, you know what I mean? I mean, isn't that what people did to get pardoned? <laughs> All like 200 people or something like that. <laughs> you gotta do a little bit of lobbying, a little bit of bribing. Then you get pardoned for your sentence. Doesn't matter the crime. Doesn't matter. Cheeseburgers. What are you talking about, Drama D? You've lost me. You have lost me, Drama D. Anyways, what else? What else do you guys want to know about the tank? Or you just want me to like bullshit on here like super awkward awkwardly? Got like 14 people watching. That's pretty much like um, a miracle for me. Menace to society. I never seen that drama. D. I don't. I don't watch a lot of movies. I'm more a, a live action sports kind of guy. Hockey specifically. Colorado has had a little bit of a shaky start to their season. Hopefully that turns around. Won a couple games in a row. Had a series against the dumbass uh, Minnesota's Minnesota Wild coming up four games in a row. It's a little weird for a regular season to play someone four games in a row like they do in baseball. Anyways, no one here fucking cares about hockey. Let's be real. No one watches hockey in here. I'm the only one. My wife said go Knights. Oh man. You got a rival then. So the so Colorado is uh, they're favored number one right now to win the cup. I think uh, Vegas or Tampa was number two, and then one of those teams was number three. Can you get off of my cup? So we'll see. I, I don't remember the last time Colorado was favored uh, to win the cup. Could have won it last year, but you had freaking Dallas get super lucky. I've never seen a team get so lucky in the playoffs like so many things had to fall into place for them to win i know you can kind of say that in any sport where there's a series of events that happens but sometimes it just is a series of events and sometimes it's just 
pure luck. Like it would, I don't know, hard to explain. Fletcher says the tank looks good. Thanks, man. It's just growing in. It's getting there. Um, so, so far, of things that have fragged, I've fragged this green goblin here. It's just cheap shit, is, that I've, is what I fragged. Uh, this encrusted Monty fragged it so it would, you know, stop encroaching. Um, hey, shut up, Keituan. Uh, what else have I fragged? Well, I fragged this guy over here. That stag. And uh, just a small piece of that Satosa. Um, yep, I think that's it. No, wait, it's not it. And that long piece back there, whatever the hell that is. I'm thinking about taking a frag of the bird. I know you can't win Fortnite without me. That's why you want me to play. Because you guys want to get carried. You know, I get tired carrying you guys on my back. You guys are freaking heavy. Combined, you guys got to be at least 600 pounds. And I'm a buck 40, and I'm carrying you guys on my back. And I don't, I just don't feel like I get the appreciation that I deserve. Like, you probably didn't even come in this stream and hit the thumbs down. You probably disrespected me and you hit the thumbs up. Like, come on. Come on, Gabe. Gabe said on the other street that it was his birthday. But I've yet to confirm if it's really his birthday. So I can't tell. I need you to show me your ID. Here, you can have this now, Kiwi. All right, I've missed some other stuff that people were saying. Gabe wants you on Fortnite background on your tank. Uh, the tank's gonna go off in, what time is it? 9.30? Oh, it's only nine. Oh. It's gonna go off in 30 minutes. Uh, I am still on the moonshine. Always on the moonshine. Uh, I have an ICP test pending. There's the dailies along with the other dailies. You got iodide, vitamin something, orange juice mix, and then some liquid mud, which is just chocolate milk. So I put some of that in there every single day. Um, yeah, okay, Tuan, this is a hockey stream now. I just don't have anything to talk about with, uh, with reef tanks. Okay, uh, Acro Breeder wants me to start some beef. It is his birthday verified. Check chat for ID. If I back out of this, it's going to crash the stream, so I can't. I'm just going to believe that it's your birthday. So everyone say happy birthday to Gabe um, and just wish him, you know, a decent birthday. Gabe has a fancy new skin. He got surgery or what? Are you still using the T5 lighting? I am still using the T5 lighting. Uh, I hate this light, how I've made this. This is ugly, and I and no one told me that it was ugly. And you guys need to tell me when it's fucking ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> I should have just, um, you know, I saw someone actually post post something where they used 8020 and they made their own hybrid fixture. And I thought that was a, a much better idea. idea. But yeah, still T5 lighting. I use the, those are just Geesman bulbs, um, the Atenic blue. I have not changed them out in two years. <laughs> I'm definitely not a police officer. What do I do for work? I am a senior consultant in the, okay, I just got attacked, <laughs> in um, IT security audits. That's what I do. Is that, is that entertaining? <laughs> Is it what you think it was? Anything on the wish list? Yes. One is a new tank for the new house. What are you doing, Bert? <laughs> um, she's like trying to get in my coffee cup. I think she's just going to stick her whole head in. She looks like Pooh Bear right now because this kind of looks like a, a Pooh Bear little mug. Um, so yeah, one new tank for a new house. So I don't know if you heard it earlier, but I want uh, 72 
So this is same same length, 72, uh, but it would be 48 inches wide and then 28 inches tall. So gain about three inches of height and uh, 12, 18 inches worth of depth. That is one on my wish list. Number two, uh, ATI Stradons. Those those lights look amazing. Uh, same type of deal as uh, the Philips light, but I feel like I could trust ATI a little bit better with their track record. Um, I mean, if you look at most tanks that I've seen with the ATI power module, which has their LEDs for people that don't know, it's a hybrid fixture, um, they look absolutely amazing. So I think they know what they're doing in lighting. What I also like about those, see what she's doing? What I also like about those lights versus um, <laughs> the, the Philips is you get three controllable channels in, or zones actually, not channels, zones in the actual light. So you'll have, you know, your middle uh, bit of uh, LEDs. You can control that. You could power it down separately or have a different spectrum there if you really wanted to. And you have a left and a right. So so you have, you know, overlapping lights like this and you can pinch them closer together instead of spacing them out all weird. And then you can control just these two channels on the end, these two zones rather, and make the intensity lower because they're going to obviously come together combine you know you usually get hot spots when you have light coming together so um that would be that would be two and i don't know if i have a third right now because i just got the geo calcium reactor not sure there's a couple more people here now um not sure for those who didn't see it i just got the geo 818 so for anyone who doesn't know how geo does their calcium reactor like models uh their numbers and everything it's pretty simple it is eight inches wide by 18 inches tall. So if you see like a, um, a 1218 or a 1236, that's gonna be 12 inches wide, 36 or 18 inches tall. But definitely like the Geo design is really, really nice, really sleek. Um, got it on the Black Friday deal. Took about eight weeks for it to uh, come to me, but you gotta factor in, it was also holiday period so I'm sure he was actually trying to take some time off with his family and not work as much uh, wait to see the skies where are the skies again where are those the Neptunes um, BRS has some open box ones right now on sale are you talking about the Stradons favorite youtuber besides me my favorite youtuber besides k would be probably two piece aquatics and then if I had to say a third, like honorable mention, uh, probably inappropriate reefer. My favorite coral. Uh, favorite coral at the moment. I don't know. If I'm doing, if I'm just going off of the growth right now, because I think this is going to change when some of this BS is not frags anymore. I'd have to go with the Walt Disney. When you get a top down, of this Walt Disney is just it's just on fire and maybe second to that would be the master Yoda right now which is really just a paletta pink tip I don't know why people rebranded it um, and yeah a couple other these uh, a couple <laughs> other of these are gonna be close contenders uh, orange passion needs to do something with its life uh, Solar Flare needs to do some, no, Acid Trip Millie needs to do something with its life. And then I have Princess Peach tucked right in there. That one's going to be nice. And uh, Strawberry Shortcake right there. So those, those ones will be, I think, in my top. Uh, least favorite coral. Um, hmm. I think it's got to be that green Pacilopora. Like, what is its function in life? It's good. It's good starter coral. Don't get me wrong. But now, what I have, like, it just doesn't fit. <laughs> and it's just getting in the way of me looking at nicer coral. Um, he sells OnlyFans photos. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about starting up an OnlyFans photos. I think I'm going to just start taking, like, provocative pictures of me in the reef tank. I got a pretty nice butt that I could show off. At least what, that's what my wife says, so. I mean, I might as well sell my body for money. What's wrong with that? Everyone else is doing it, right? 
Uh, BRS ATM. How much are they going for, Dramedy? Why would someone send back their ATIs? Because it was dinged or something? That's actually... Oh yeah, that's where I got... <laughs> I actually got this, uh... Oh, that's the, the cat auto feeder. Where is she? Oh, here she comes. Is she down here already? She must be down here already. Oh no, she's not. I don't know where the cat is. Usually she'll come sprinting down when that auto feeder goes off. Um, yeah, this light, this light fixture, open box. Uh, the only thing that was wrong with it was some of the reflectors were dented. No, I didn't really care. I got it like $200 cheaper or some crazy number. Uh, the bird looks like it is taking a crap. <laughs> yep, uh, definitely, probably did. Let's check it. Let's check it out. What do you do in the cup? No, I don't think so. I think it's clean. A little bit of tea left in there, though. Yeah, I think this is a nice piece, too. This is a Fruity Pebbles Monty. Uh, it's supposed to have more green, but for whatever reason, the green has gone out. Mine is more yellow, orange, and red. Um, okay, what does this say? Consider doing an angled spotlight onto the wall. If you like the top-down view more, you get more of an impression from the panel view. All right, maybe you need to explain that to me again. I guess I don't understand what you're trying to say. Well, it's spotlight. So you're kind of saying maybe angle the piece you're talking about, like towards towards me? That's what sucks about corals, right? The best view is from the top down. I'm actually thinking if I go with another, if it, with a new system, I'm thinking about doing the stand shorter so I can see into the tank kind of from that top down angle. You know, it'll be distorted a little bit, but I feel like I might just enjoy it more. <laughs> Nine something. I think, I think um, they go for what, 1100? Right? Like 1100 bucks? They're not cheap lights, for sure. I would need at least three on this tank, and then I would need um, six for, for uh, a new one. Yeah. We Hey, get your head out of the freaking thing. What are you doing? You know, see, this is why I can appreciate but also hate birds, and why my channel has a bird in it because birds don't give a shit like birds are not here to serve you they could bond to you right they could be you know you think you're friends but then all of a sudden you just get fucking bit for no reason because they're little assholes you're like oh yeah we're cool right like this is nice but all of a sudden she'll bite the shit out of me for no reason i'm just doing nothing and you know birds just aren't there to please you i mean they'll do your little tricks but birds are wild they're out there for themselves. Look at this little freaking nugget. What are you doing, Kiwi? You're trying to steal the show. You're not even talking right now. You're not even telling them you're cute. And I'm telling them that you know how to say that. And you're making a fool out of me. It's like, oh yeah, look at this cool trick my dog can do. And they look at you like you're an idiot. You guys see that? Let's see if we can capture this this natural behavior. A uh, <laughs> huge, fat, magnificent fox face getting bullied by a little baby powder blue. The cron colony will grow towards the spotlight and give some of that top-down appeal from the front. The higher the angle, the more top-down the coral will be. Okay, interesting. So this one here would be a little bit um, off of maybe that, you know, directly under. I don't know if you would consider these like spotlight-ish. <laughs> 
I don't know what I'm kind of picturing is like uh, if you've seen the Tidal Gardens uh, tank where he has those. Where are they? Are they castles? No. What are those lights that Than has that he put on the um, his big show tank peninsula? Anyone know? I forgot what they are called. But those ones uh, where you can, you know, he adjusts the angle. Those are spotlights. Ah, uh, yeah, Orphnik. Or Orphic. One of those. One of those pronunciations. Yeah, those things look crazy. Those things would put out some power. I was considering those, but then with the release of the Stratons, I'm just like, why? Why go with that much power? No reason. Do you guys, for anyone, I don't know if anyone in the chat has AIs. But have you ever had a problem where the, the timing is off? You can see this one is 64. The two ends are 52s. So these two are obviously linked together. You can't actually link all three. Um, but the timing is off. This is supposed to go off at 10 o'clock. It is like 15 minutes to 10, quarter to 10. And you see what happens. So. The inverse happens, obviously, when they come on at 10 a.m. For anyone who gives a shit, my light schedule is 10 a.m. to uh, 10 p.m. Lights come on, ramp up for one hour, then they get to max power. Uh, 2.30 p.m., the T5s come on, and they shut off after a four-hour photo period uh, at 6.30. And then at 8 p.m., the... Uh, LEDs start to ramp down to the point where they just go all blues from 9 to 10. And that's just for me to enjoy the little bit of color pop that I have. Yeah, I don't know. Also, you know what doesn't help as well is the fact that I, you know, built a tank that goes over my head. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, this is significantly above my head. Because I originally I was like, okay, well, when they designed a stand, I wanted a t plenty of room under the tank. If you've ever gotten a default, you know, shitty <laughs> aquarium stand, you have about two inches to work in the tank. You could barely fit the sump in there. You could barely fit your skimmer in there and get the lid off to collect the uh, skimmate, all that. So that's why I wanted to uh, have a taller stand so I could work in there better which is great. I can actually crawl in there and uh, actually almost not stand up, but I can stand up like really hunched over. So if I need to get some leverage on something under there, or if there's a hurricane or something, I can hide under a stand perfectly. But <laughs> then what's good about the tank is it's perfectly at eye level for, for anyone, right? If you're a little bit taller, if you're like six foot, you probably have a better vantage point than me because you're probably like up here and I'm like down here. So, uh, yeah, that was the idea. But now that I actually have corals, my perception of that idea has changed. Um, I want it a little bit lower. I kind of like the frag tank view because I can come in here. You do have to kind of bend down a little bit, but I can look down on the corals. I know you can't see shit, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. Only problem I've had with my AIs are they had issues syncing the 32 to the 64s. Interesting. Another issue I have with the AI, at least the 64, is a, so the 52 is completely silent, make no noise. 64, the fan is super loud and it runs constantly. Constantly. It's not like a grinding sound or like the fan is broken sound. It's just the fan operation. Just stupid, stupid sound. I messaged, messaged them about it and they're just like, there's a setting or something you can go to to supposedly turn it off, but I didn't turn it off. So I just stopped messing around with it. I kind of hate dealing with support in general. I try to avoid it if I can. You running any reds or lime? Yeah, I have a small amount of green and reds, I think. Or did I turn them off? You know what, Drama D? I actually don't know. I might have turned the reds and greens off. I don't remember why. 
I probably watched a video and someone probably influenced me <laughs> to turn it off. It might have been, hmm, could have been a BRS video. I don't know. But they, before, even, even before that video, they're only on like, not even 10%. They're maybe 5% or like 4%. Hey chimp, what's going on? I was talking about hockey earlier. You're probably the only other one that will that watches some hockey. Modified AB. Yes, I am doing the whatever BRS put out. Hey, are you drinking that? There's a little bit left. I don't think she could reach the bottom. Um, I'm doing whatever BRS put out in terms of the AB schedule for the AIs. Stop talking about hockey. No. I can do whatever I want. This is my channel. Gabe. Freaking Gabe. Gabe, I thought you had a wrench here. What happened to that? Did someone... Did I take it away from you? Maybe you're acting up. Oh, yeah, I think I did take it away because you have a wrench everywhere else. So I didn't want you to have a wrench here either. I feel like, I feel like it was biased. You never did. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad you never did. Anyways, any more questions? I'm getting to the point where the tank's about to go dark and it's going to get real awkward just talking in the dark. Right, Kiwi? And I got some freaking crybabies talking about me playing Fortnite because they want me to carry them. Like, how many times do I need to carry you guys to victory until you're satisfied? Yeah, Kiwi. How many times? <laughs> Great game. Scoby's been acting a little bit weird. He's just been kind of hanging out right here, which is kind of strange. And this part of the tank is extremely dirty. You only got seventh place. Yeah, because you didn't have me. Man, this filter is doing the tank no justice right now. Everything just looks washed out. Nice bird's nest there. That's a fish. Yeah, if you're not first, you're last. Yeah, Rick and Bobby, shake and bake. Yeah, anyways, if there's no more questions, then I gotta feed these fish, but I'll give y'all a second, and then I gotta go answer the freaking crybabies and get on some Fortnite. Those people just wanna come on someone's stream, they wanna talk some shit, beg you. I mean, you want to kiss too, Gabe? Like, jeez. There you go. There's the mascot. There's the logo. What'd you say? <laughs> You're not really playing? Are you just getting carried? I've never played this Fortnite game you speak of. Right, right. Well, you know, not many people would know because whenever I stream on Fortnite, no one shows up. So actually, no one would ever know if you do or not. Look at this Chromis. I think he's camouflaged in the reef. And then Peaches comes out of nowhere like a little asshole. All right, guys, if you don't have any other questions, I don't have anything else to talk about because I'm really boring. And I gotta feed the fish, dose the moonshine, and yeah, so try to make some uh, videos soon. I need to make a video on generic update, walk through some stuff, mostly that 40 gallon frag tank, walk through the geo, then I need to do another video on the moonshiners because I'm in the group for the moonshiners. There's a lot of new people that have either been uh, messaging me or they've been in the chat, or sorry, the group, and they all seem to have the same questions, on like how to get started. And my original video on that was more of like, hey, this is a review, this is what I did. A little bit of a how-to, um, but not really in depth that 
you know, you can follow it exactly. So I kind of need to lay out like, you know, hey, step one, do this, step two, whatever. Here's some frequently asked questions. So that's the plan for that one. No one's really gonna care unless you plan on doing the moonshiners. So I would recommend it. If you don't know the moonshiners, feel free to message me, ask me about it. It's basically just a trace element program. Same type of deal for Red Sea, but you get more control over it, blah, blah, blah. So let me know if you're interested. I can add you to the Facebook group and then you could do some reading on your own. Um, do owls ever poop in the tank? I mean, I do have pretty high nitrates and and phosphates are actually falling, so I'm not sure if the uh, the poop only does nitrates. <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping nitrates. Is it true my arm hair is soaking up the nitrates? Yes, that is true. I've heard that from an extremely reliable source, that the more you stick your arm in the tank, uh, the more um, issues you will have keeping nitrates because your arm hair will absorb the nitrates in the water. Uh, so that's why they tell you to keep your hands out of the tank for no other reason than arm hair absorption of nitrates. Yep. And then the whole thing with like, um, what is it, carbon dosing? It's all a scam. It doesn't work as good as uh, sticking your hand in the tank. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, most ladies would have the same luxury as guys with being able to stick their arm in the tank and their arm hair <laughs> take, taking out the nitrates. So they may have to do carbon dosing, but someone like you, Gabe, you could, you could suck up a couple tanks where the nitrate's worth, no doubt. Especially you. Should I shave my hair and put that in the tank? I mean, you could probably do like a hair reactor, get yourself a BRS, uh, Carbon reactor, GFO reactor, fill it with hair. Yeah. Shave it off, put it in there. Yeah, go ahead, try it and make a video of it because I want to see it. I definitely want to see it. <laughs> I 100% want to see that video actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so please do that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, you can see. Slowly getting darker. The dog is giving me dirty looks. The cat is giving me dirty looks. And the bird doesn't give a shit. So I'm getting off. Thanks for everyone who joined. Thanks to Acro Breeder for the $5. We basically just exchanged $5 and gave YouTube money. So um, really none of us won out of that. And in, in that exchange, only YouTube has won. But I still appreciate the thought and yeah thanks for joining guys